1 Corinthians 12 is such a rich, powerful, and unifying chapter. In the midst of carnal thinking and carnal behavior, the Corinthian church, they found themselves conflicted, divided, and self-absorbed. Now, I know that you and I do not struggle with any of these things, right? But just in case the Lord reveals his, this struggle in you, here is how Paul addresses the issue. In this chapter, he defines who we are as followers of Christ and how we're to function. As followers of Christ, he says, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And this is how we confess Jesus is Lord. He tells us that we, the church, have been given gifts or abilities that are from the Lord and divine in nature. He says there is diversity of gifts, from the ability to discern in times of need to the ability to heal someone who is afflicted with illness. A diversity of gifts for individuals to exercise, but where Paul cuts right to the issue is in verse 7 that these gifts are not for self-edification, but for the profit of all. One spirit given different gifts to individuals that would benefit all the church. From verses 12 until the end of the chapter, Paul goes on to better define the church as the body of Christ. One body made up of individual members with different giftings and abilities that should benefit the whole. As if to say, that the Holy Spirit is the spiritual veins that connect and unify the whole body of Christ. Now, when was the last time that you were given a Christmas or birthday gift and you blessed everyone else around you with it? Well, maybe you have, and, and if you have, fantastic. May that be our hearts when we look to other believers, not to envy what they have or what they can do, but how we can bless them not to recognize where they're lacking, but how we can love them. If this is our heartbeat, the Lord will give us the right gift for the right task. And the greatest gift, Paul will go on to say, is Christ's love. Christ's love in you will foster unity in his body, for we are Christ's body, and unity is Christ's work through us.